first career interception. It's a pick yeah. six for 90 yards. How's that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. You know, but obviously a win would be better. Um, harping back onto your question, this is something I've been looking forward to for what, four years now. Um, on my mom's birthday, my whole family's in town on New Year. Um, and more blessings, so it's, it's an awesome feeling. Um, I've never felt anything like that, honestly. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it individually, but overall, I would love the team win. Who'd you give that ball to afterwards? Uh, my mom. It's her birthday. It's her birthday today. That return, you keep saying you were you were running back in high school. I was a four-star running back. You couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, was, it, was it like riding a bike? Did it come back? Uh, it, it, felt it felt natural. It felt natural. It wasn't easy, though. Once I, I cut back across the field and I alluded on um, a few of the guys on the Chiefs. Um, I seen that. I seen that paint, and that's all I needed to see. It was it was it was 100 miles an hour from there. I know you want the win, but you have worked so hard in your career, and you've shared all that with your mom. What, what does that mean to you? Um, it's awesome. It's a blessing. Knowing I don't know what a lot of people know what my mom's been through. She was she had cancer, breast cancer, and she's a survivor. Um, my whole family's here. I mean, everybody's here. My whole family, my intermediate family's here, um, and just a. Have her witness my first interception. My family witnessed my first interception, and for a goal for 90 yards for a pick six. Um, it's not even. It's not on me. That's all God, and I just give him the praise. It's been in San Diego for a while now. What was the mood, the vibe like to you out there compared to how it was last year too with the Dolphins? Um, I, I feel like that fans still came out and showed us love. You know, it, the future's uncertain, and that's out of a lot of people's hands. We have nothing to do with that. You know, we can come out here and put on for the city, put on for our teammates and the coaches and the ones we love. And, that, that name across our chest, which is the Chargers, and that's all we can do each and every day. Um, we we appreciate their support, the ones who do support us, um, and we'll see where we go from there. Do you just wait to find out like everyone else? Yeah, you just wait. It's, it's a waiting game. You know, we, it's a lot of uncertainty right now, um, but that's out of our hands. You just got to continue to go on in off season as you do in the off season. You know, take care of your body and start to rev up for next year. Given the crowd you guys have had at Qualcomm Stadium this year, a lot of people say, well, the Chargers, obviously, they don't want to be in San Diego, and San Diego doesn't want the Chargers. Do you feel like the fan base, if, if they're giving something to root for, would, would come back the way it used to be, like 2013? I, I feel so. I feel so. And, and so, there's people saying that the Chargers want to be in San Diego. I know I do. I love the city of San Diego. I love our fans. I love this organization. This organization that gave me a chance from undrafted free agent four years ago, you know, to where I'm at now. You know, and I'm thankful for it. And I mean, obviously, I want to stay in San Diego, but if things happen, things happen. That's out of my control. My job is to go out there between those white lines and perform. I know the season just ended, but what's your initial thoughts with it just ending on what you guys went through this year? It's tough. It was tough. You know, all that to not, but I mean, we showed character. I don't think a lot of teams in the league would have been able to do what we did, and that's play at a high level every Sunday, um, regardless of what we, we faced, what kind of adversity we faced. And that's, and that's our job. We shouldn't expect nothing less from us. We shouldn't expect nothing less from ourselves. And it's our job to go out there and perform and perform at a high level. You don't know what's going to happen with your head coach. Is that way on any of you guys? Are you waiting to find out, too, whether... Like I said, that's out of my hands. I don't know. You know, I love Coach McCord. I love our his assistant coach. I love my position coach, and Coach Milo and Coach Chris. And I, I do. I, I really do. And obviously, I want him to stay here. That's high to my pay.